Well, in a division as talented as 155 pounds, it is absolutely remarkable what this man has accomplished. Here he is, folks, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Now, his goals, far more lofty than that. The title defenses are starting to pile up, but he believes with this type of challenger that has some momentum with fight fans, if he can dust this guy here tonight, he can take his career to the next level and start to be mentioned with the GOATs, the Hall of Fame types. For now, he'll have to settle for UFC lightweight champion. We will see how it goes for him tonight, Vegas. the tape for this lightweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's who's the first fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only a professional record of 21 wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting at a squad of Para Brazil, presenting the challenger, Davison Donaguerra Figueiredo. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 14 wins, four losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Busan, South Korea, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, the Korean Superboy, UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the champ. Joy gets touched by that kick there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Got the single collar tie. Oh, that's a good strike there by Shore. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to. Oh! Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. And they separate. Effective punch there by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, collar tie. 
Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? Mixes it up. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Try to establish that jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And now he's got the tie clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Joy gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Just misses there with the left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Ninety seconds to go in the opening round. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transitions. Well, you know I don't like the D very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the D at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week too. <laughs> oh, combination lands. You want to? is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. And he landed the right hand there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. seconds to go. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Right punches there. Five minutes in the books. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's a replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. All right, round two. Joy gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Nice body. Oh, he's a close. He's hurt bad. Oh, he goes with the punch and he lands. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Close guard here. He's very comfortable here working off of his back, DC. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground on top of He's gonna take off bar here. of 
a submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely Great done. Job. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, good movement by him here on the ground. He really is a master of these transitions. He is a master of movement on the ground. You never know where he's gonna be. Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Oh, nice. Get a finish here. And this might just be a matter of time. Wow. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Punch over the top. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot. That's the end. Great job. Well, he's got his back now. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing bad. Oh, yeah. No pity pat to this guy. Nah. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style, he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combination. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight, but both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop for this contest. At three minutes, 47 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by knockout and still. So there he is, and still UFC lightweight champion at 155 pounds. That's saying something, right? A murderer's row of contenders, and the number one contender, no match for the champion. Team. For a long time, we talked about 155 as the toughest division in the entire UFC, 